Okay, so I need a counter. Yep. X plus one, that should do. Yeah, nice, I think that'll work. Did you just do X and X plus one? Yeah, why? Yeah, but that's not the best way. Yeah, but, no, but it works. You get the count down the side. What do you mean there's a better way? And why are you dressed like me? You want to look up enumerate, mate. Right, so, as our friend just told us, we really don't want to be doing this for this purpose. So this is the first example I just showed you, but there is another way of doing it, uh, which I've seen before, which is using uh, the range function here to actually get the length of the list and then use that as the index uh, to, to get the item from the list. Now, this is quite a common solution that I think beginners find. Um, there is a much better way, as I said, using enumerate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all of this and we're going to use enumerate. So when you enumerate through an iterable in Python, you get the index and the value back each time. So we wanna do for uh, idx, which I'm gonna call for the index and val for value in our UR in enumerate our URL list. So let's go ahead and print out the index and the value from this uh, iterable, this loop, and you'll see that we get the index that it is in our list and then the actual item back like this. What this means then is that we can do our r is equal to requests dot get here, and then we can give it the value, and we can print out the uh, index that we have and then the r.txt, which is the response that we're getting. So this is a much neater way, a more Pythonic way of doing it. So let's run this again, and you can see we're getting the same responses back here. But you will notice that we are getting um, the index as a, a zero index. So that zero is obviously the first one in the index that we're using. Now, if you wanted to start from a different number, you can absolutely do that. We're just gonna put start is equal to one in here. Now this is actually gonna add, uh, acts like an actual counter. So as if we were uh, just checking how many things we're running through. So if you've got a really long list of URLs or maybe something else that you need to do, then you can use this to easily access the index of that item in the list. So you can actually loop, you can actually use enumerate in any Python iterable. So I've got a basic dictionary here. If we were to loop through this one, we, we could just do for uh, x in my dict, and let's just print out x like this. You'll see that we're gonna get the keys. So we've got the keys here. And you could also do the uh, dot items. There we go, run that. And you'll see that we get the tuple back here like this. Now you can actually use enumerate. So let's enumerate, enumerate through all of the items on the list, enumerate. So we do actually need to, because you can see we were getting a tuple back, we need to have the index and then we get the value. So we'll put it into uh, brackets like this, and we'll just say K and V. So for the key and the value like that, and then we can get the index K and the value, and we can get it out just like this. So you'll see that we get all the information out and with the index as well, whilst running through it in a dictionary. But it's most likely that you're gonna to wanna to do it in a list like this, where you wanna keep a counter of whatever item that you're looping through like so. So if you've enjoyed this video, I think you're gonna find this one here also interesting.